Vale, gente, ya estamos aquí a un pasito del, del hospital Pembroke, que está a mis espaldas. Vamos hacia allá y a ver qué nos espera. Porque aquí se va a poner bien perrote este asunto, ¿eh? No veo a la gente. Esto es raro. Así. Debe ser arriba. El pedo debe ser hasta arriba. Chingada suerte. Vamos a entrar a ver qué es el pedo. Vale, y Swansi se lo llevaron. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Puta, se llevaron a Swansi. No dejó nada a Edgar. Sangre. Esto es de un vampiro. Hacia arriba, me imaginé que había algo arriba, por eso no habían abierto esas puertas antes. Sí, me imaginé. Es hace rato había visto esas puertas, puta. ¿Una cajuela? Digo, hacia, hacia abajo. Chinga la mugre, ¿había algo debajo del sótano? ¿Una cárcel? ¿What the fuck? Man. ¿En el subterráneo o arriba? Mierda, ya empezaron con las puterías. Ultraviolet Says a lot about how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what. What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. I'm enfermo. You aim to unleash another disaster, just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're the progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We've found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. So much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Okay. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Show some style. Fight like a man. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. Come on, 
so innocent? Why does simple light burn you so much? Puto tramposo. No, no, suelta, suelta, suelta. The blood of a true defender of this land will protect. Show some style. Fight like a man. Mierda, cambia. Mierda. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. Ven acá. Ven acá, hijo de perra. Close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. Te va a doler a ti. Mierda, mierda, mierda. A la madre. Ah, me quemo. Ven acá. O de perra. Muévete. Ah, oh, eso duele. Ven acá. Me quedan balas, ya no. No, 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 no. Muévete, muévete. Verga, me está matando el cabrón por esa mamada. Oh, de perra, ven. Close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. Ven acá. Mierda. Ven acá. If you're so innocent. Why does simple light burn you so much? Buena. Pensé que había caído yo. Oh, dear. We are the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? We always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, 
Your kind are the worst. I'm not saying we could be friends, you and I. But perhaps we could collaborate to put an end to this epidemic. Never! We are Prewin. We do not negotiate. We do not compromise. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCullum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now. For there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. No lo dejes matar. No, creo que lo mate. That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean? Convertirlo. No. Perdonarle la vida, sí. I'll spare you, McCollum. I'll offer you the mercy you never offered me. What is this ruse? This is no ruse, McCollum. This is me letting you go. After all, you and I are both trying to save this poor country in our own way. I'll kill you, Reed. Next time we meet, I'll end you. See? Progress already. You called me by my name. <laughs> Until the next time. Goodbye, Hunter. Vale. Vale, gente, ya estamos frente al teatro. A ver cómo se arman los putazos aquí. Vale. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Vale. Que te reviento. Ah, se me quedó todo el muñeco, joder. Gracias. Balas. Uy, hablando de balas, no traje balas, pelotudo. Voy a tener que regresar si me sale un jefe aquí. Que probablemente sí me va a salir aquí el jefe. Ahora sí, vamos a la puerta, ya limpié la parte de arriba, vamos aquí. Que supongo que aquí se va a poner. Imagine. En serio.
Te ha dejado ni que la te llevó la bruja en tierra. Me le tienen a Edgar abajo. El informe de Mac. Primero te una vez más. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. Hmm. Interesante. Un disaster. Así se le llama. Qué interesante. Vale, abrimos la puerta. Vale, y ahora hacia dónde? Hacia abajo. Estamos la llave, no podemos entrar nada porque sí. Vale, proyectil de escopeta, llevamos ya bastante. Vale, aquí está su protector. Step away, sir. Lo siento, amigo, pero tienes que morir. Uy, casi me viola. esta gente no, it's ya. locked it's locked debe estar siempre cerrada si necesitas acceso búscame en la primera planta y te daré la llave no olvides devolvérmela cuando acabe Rodney I should find the key to that box No, caballero vampiro, voy a marcha, pero si ese es el precio que debo pagar para purificar mi alma y reparar mis errores, estoy listo para soportar todo lo insoportable. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Si no lo fuera no estaría ahí. Easy. Easy. Save your strength. No se nos vaya a morir. I'm getting you out of here. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCullum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? To prove him wrong, I let him go. 
Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. Tengo dudas, sí, lo más. Edgar, as much as I would like to believe you, I have a few concerns that require clarification. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. Hmm. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Hmm. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Okay. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbridge. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. I made a mistake. But what is science Uy, if not trial and error? We both know it, Jonathan, we both know it. What a poor justification for your morbid fascination and thirst for glory. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Uh, aquí hay una doble moral, chicos, porque... Debo dejarlo morir por todo lo que hizo. Bueno, no dejarlo morir. Lo voy a convertir, no importa. Uh, voy a ayudarlo. Él siempre estuvo ayudando a la gente, al fin de cuentas. No, Edgar. You are not going to die. Unless you want to. What? What, what do you mean? I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? After all I've done, I, after all that's been said, you would offer me this gift? I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. <laughs> but it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well, then. Prepare to die and be reborn. To face an eternity of guilt. I'm ready. Oh, indeed, I am ready. Es mi amigo. Él me salvó. Pero... Espero no equivocarme. Puedo cometer un error porque realmente él fue el que infectó. O a lo mejor quería el poder mío. Y se lo he dado. O se lo acabo de dar. Lo que sí sabemos es que eh, Swan sí quiso ayudar a la gente. Él no sabía de, la, de, de que la sangre de Ashbury los iba a convertir. Puede ser que a lo mejor Ashbury nos ha estado manipulando. Bien, gente. Aquí lo voy a dejar. Espero les haya gustado el capítulo. Subir, me despido y nos vemos en la próxima para enfrentar a Lady Ashbury a ver qué nos tiene que decir. Entonces la sangre de Lady Ashbury está mala. Hasta cierto punto por lo que estoy viendo. Y se ha entendido. O al menos ella los convierte en ese tipo de vampiros. No es que sea mala a lo mejor. Bueno. Eso lo dejamos para el siguiente capítulo chicos. Yo me pido subir y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chao. Ven, no te olvides.
Tuesday.